already drink caffeinated beverages. I know this yeah. is Seattle, like, yeah, okay, so this is for you. I'm in the convenience store, and I face a glass case with rows and rows of aluminum-bound energy. Posting and inviting my car crash wreckage, full throttle, bad mother, monster extreme, chaos, rockstar, born, more force and anarchy than you can cram through your pipes and out your pores, and some even suggest glimpses of enlightenment. High fructose corn syrup laced with zen, a soup of vitamins, dissed aliveness, screaming through your veins, an amino acid raid on your sedated limbs, a fortune of smiles for your metabolism, carbonated catchphrases, and sin washing elixirs, delivering more megabytes per second of salvation than a priest with a fistful of rosary beads. And I take a can in my hand, overcome with God-fearing all because this is what I need. My stale pot-stained corpses hemorrhaging with fatigue and I want to bow down at the feet of this can, oh guru. There really is a drink called <laughs> guru. This holy bliss of amphetamine dreams will give me wings and my faith is restored with the knowing that soon I will be awake again. Soon the clothes will vibrate for me like an orchestra of G-Base and electricity and then it occurs to me. Why the hell are we all so tired? Yeah. I mean, sure, we work a lot, but that doesn't seem much different than the centuries of civilization builders, the capitalism tillers, the intellectual oil spillers. I mean, as far as I know, we've always worked a lot, and we don't even have to kill our own chickens anymore. No barreling water, churning butter, spinning thread, so why are we so damn tired? I think it's not so much that we work a lot as we stare. A lot. It's like we live in a perpetual state of sleep. We rise from bed, turn on the TV, mute our brains so that we can take in our daily dose of situation babble. We cycle the signals of our own orbiting energy field so that we can get in the box and drive to the box and stare at the box and check out the box. The goal is always have the biggest box of them all. Then the box is made to be tacky and they all look just the same. We have no idea what is going on inside of here because everything out here is clamoring for our attention. There is more high voltage power in this solar system than we will ever know how to use. But our iPods are turned up so loud we can't hear the frequency of magic our bodies are playing. The World Wide Web is spun through our fingertips but our search engine is broken. The universe is uploading rivers of illumination into our psyches but we can't open the file. But we know it's there. That little manila folder with all the codes we'll ever need sitting quiet and still in a world of flashing boxes. So we fill our bodies with artificial energy. We fill our minds with artificial intelligence. We zip it off through a playground of artificial relationships because we are scared to death of anything real. Scared to hear the volume of knowledge contained in our own cells. Scared to stop staring and start seeing. And it's exhausting to be so scared all the time, y'all. So we drink moons to fall asleep and suns to wake up, even though we are not sure which is which anymore. But y'all, here is waking up. Yeah.